What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy Kid back at it again, continuing the uh, Robot Wars uh, binge. And we are on Heat G of Season 2. Let's freaking go, boys and girls. Let's go. The starting lineup for the first of our series semifinals is complete. Napalm, Mace, Mortis, Fairmoth, Killatron, and last week's winner, Panic Attack. But with six more heats to come, there's still everything to fight for. Special effects. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our master of disaster, Craig Charles. Now, if you listen to the Japanese, you'd hear that good things come in small packages. The Discman, the Game Boy, Kylie Minogue. Now, this is all great news for Orientals with puny wedding tackle, but it's basically wrong. Because good things come in huge, great containers with very large things written on the side in six-foot-high red letters. Indeed, here on Robot Wars, size is everything, beauty is nothing. If Birmingham was a robot, it'd be a force to be reckoned with. As are our six robots waiting in the pits, about to do battle for a place in our series semi-finals. Be warned, they're not very pretty, but they are big. First, from Bodminster Unity College and reigning champion, Roadblock. Returning meaner and tougher, completely rebuilt in aluminium rather than steel. The circular saw blade teeth tipped with tungsten. You'll hear a police two-tone siren when it attacks. What you see are road signs on the outer shell. From Bedford, Onslaught. A stainless steel shell, titanium rear axle and aluminium wheels may beef up Onslaught. The wedge weapon can flip and overturn. The mild steel spikes at the rear carry a sting in the tail. But a two-meter turning circle looks sluggish for this family team. From Dublin, Nemesis. Another old favourite is back with the boys from the Irish <laughs> Air Corps. Boggle, bloodshot eyes, a mad leering grin and dressed in urid polka dot scarlet fur. Uh, the robot, that is. Look out for the saw blade at the rear and the new slicing lobster claws at the front, all rolling on wheelchair and caster wheels. From her work near Darlington, rocks. Radio-operated combat system, rocks, driven by Colin Seavers, painted by wife Jackie, and worked on by seven-year-old son Carl, the youngest robot here here. This bot demolished a neighbor's fence in training. The wheels and motor are from a wheelchair. The front lift can raise 75 kilos. From Hinkley, Limpers. This machine can operate even when it's flipped upside down on 163-centimeter tracks made from motorcycle chains. The batteries, motors, and speed controller come from a wheelchair. The chassis frame is steel. The six-inch diameter front saw has bites, but it it cost just 28 pounds to build. From Oxford, killer her. The main features on this polycarbonate protected speed machine, it's top lick of 15 miles an hour, and it's new massive Damn. seven pound custom made steel axe generating 800 kilos of force. Two 24 volt electric motors drive the rear wheels. This is highly thought of down in the pits, Craig. Gorilla slap it. This gotta be the most well-rounded one for us. Uh, I'm going with Onslaught on this one, but the last one does look pretty darn good, guys. Let's back up just here so we can hear him talk. Yeah, kilohertz. Um, this one looks pretty badass. Gorillas slap their chests. Cats arch their backs. Prince Nassim rips off his shorts. Let's see how our robots show their anger in the first of our three rounds. The gauntlet this week is new and improved. As ever, each contesting robot must make the dangerous dash between the start line and the end zone in as fast a time as possible. But this week, for added value, we've introduced the Sentinel. Ever present and menacing, it sweeps the floor in a wide arc. Now, a timely dash could get the robot to the end zone safely. An untimely one could get it spiked. Holy! Robot ears, stand by. The first competitor, the champions, Roadblock. And Kinetron's on the run! It's piggyback time! They're in and underneath Kinetron! Now it's all over! Roadblock the winner! Inside we've had uh, quite, an, quite an improvement really. Um, we've got brand new wheelchair motors, petrol driven um, disc cutter, and uh, all the electronics are in the front this time. Um, that's pretty much it. Three, two, one. Ender Blewett and Chris Kinsey are back then with technology teacher Peter Kinsey and it looks as if they're going to take on the nice. Sentinel with a little dash of speed. The wheels, tyres from a wheelchair, went for the burst of speed, pronged by the Sentinel, held up here. 
The two-tone siren you can hear there is a police siren. Robot uses it while on the attack. It's defending there, but through. Oh my goodness me! Nearly steered into the pit of oblivion. Torch, but through. Nice. The champions are safe. Nice job. Well, well. You didn't seem to have any problems there, did you? That thing's huge. It is big, but you, you, you just slipped by it. You slipped by it. Are you feeling confident that you won the last war? Do you think you're going to win this one? Well, uh, we really want to make Sir Killalot's acquaintance. We'll look out for him in the next round. All right. Well, good luck. See you in the next round. He said, that thing's huge. That's what she said, bro. There's confirmation. Roblox completing the course. No problems for the reigning champs. How did winning Robot Wars change your lives? Um, well, it's given us something good to put on our CVs for university application. And, um, well, it was an experience we won't forget. I mean, well, I, we, we, I want we to know, have women been throwing themselves <laughs> at you now? I don't want to know about CVs. <laughs> I wouldn't, yeah, well, I wouldn't say that. We've, we've had a bit more attention, I must I'd you, say that. You seem to be hanging around our pits a lot more than it's <laughs> 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 Oh, no! <laughs> nice job. Robot ears, stand by. The silver-shaped ski slope onslaught. Our main power unit is a forklift engine electric motor which will give us around about 30 miles an hour flat out but we will only be doing about eight miles an hour when we're actually competing three two one activate eight miles an hour you hope alan wood david wood father and son and peter holland taking on the sentinel there's that mighty pronged assault ram weapon Pinning on the slot against the side bench. 15 year old David, the student at Westfield School, Come on. Queen's Park in Bedford, driving through though. Oh, but Dead Metal was waiting. A change from the first run. In comes Dead Metal to churn up the steel chassis and into the pit of oblivion. Dude, how freaking unlucky are them? The other one didn't have this uh, freaking robot here at the end. They got bad luck. Damn, man. Where well, you got past this big, great clunking thing? <laughs> but then um, Dead Metal sorted you out and then bang into the pit. Uh, you're wonderful, wasn't it? I enjoyed that, actually. <laughs> your, your robot doesn't seem to have much grit. It's got to put some tyres on it, but uh, they came off. The tyres came off? Yes. Do you think you can sort something out if you get through to the next round? Oh, I'm sure we can. Yes. Give them a round of applause. Good Hopefully. Luck, Enough distance gained. Sentinel. Plucking and pushing to oblivion. But 10.5 meters, I think that'll be okay. Love Nemesis. Is stand Nemesis by. back again. One of the most sporting teams from the last wars. The Nemesis boys all want to go into space and they're in the air! They're in the air! And they're on fire! We've done very really little changes. It's more or less the same machine with the pneumatic ram. That should put some holes in some of the other robots. And uh, we've got the same motors and gearboxes that we had last year, too. Three. Inflammable. One. Activate. The gauntlet course seems deadlier and deadlier, and Nemesis smiles through it all and immediately veers towards the ram rig here, squeezing in on the left hand side towards the circular source. How bad? We puff and churn that. Right, Scarlet Fur, and waiting there again for them, and he loves them, his Sergeant Bash. He loves a flick, a lick, a flame to torch and burn and sizzle fur. And Nemesis stuck. Go on, boys, on fire again. Smoking Nemesis, burning on fire. Waiting for them is Killer Lock too. Oh my goodness me! Hopes up in flames. Killer Lock and Dead Metal squeezing in, burning, boggling Nemesis eyes. Hold up, what, guys? What was the actual logic behind this? You have the flamethrower robot that was already on the the right side. They didn't change nothing out on the exterior. So your crap is flammable. Yeah, gee, let's just go down the flammable route. What the freak was this, man? But I think they just done enough. But guys, you went out in a ball of flames in the last war. I, I, I would have thought you'd learn. Well, if you're going to cover a robot for you, you, you might as well take the fire, you know? I thought you were, you were going to use some flame-proof material or something. Not at all. Burn it. That's what I say. Burn it all to hell. <laughs> well, you made it to the end zone. We'll see you in the next round. They can put this out there. 
Now let it burn, man. It needs help to be put out, but they completed the course. Nemesis on fire and through. He's completely gouged you out there, isn't he? Yeah. That's two mil stainless steel. That was pink for sure. I'll tell you what, if you've got some sausages handy, you can do that quickly now. I'll have a barbecue on it later on. I'm going to put a, a kebab on this other <laughs> later on. I'll finish it up. Rumorty is standby. The psychedelic rocks and seven year old Carl Sievers. Rocks. It just stands for radio operated combat system. Cool. It has a 12 volt motor for the main drive system and also extra motors to drive the lift. Three. That's dope. Two. One. So here comes the father and son team. Looks as if it's going backwards. This is the correct direction driven by 44-year-old Colin, but it's a wide robot at 77 centimeters and always in danger here of being squeezed in the ram rig against the circular source. They need to time the, the spurt to safety just right, and I think they have, although Sergeant Batch now comes in with the flaming torch, the circular source, and look at that, kill a lot and dead metal. They're all ganging up on this near side. Can they get it onto the flaming pit? Oh, man. Flipped up by Killalos. Oh, dear. Good try. Mobilize. Young Carl. He did good. Not too good, really. We, uh, we didn't do as well as we expected. A little bit bashed. Come here, young man. Come here. He did good, oh, man. You? Seven. You're seven. Oh, what were you doing? Working the forklift. Working the forklift. Are you enjoying Rope Wars so far? Yeah. Do you think you're going to make the next round? Yeah. Yeah. Well, your dad's not so sure. <laughs> we hope you make it, though. Ladies and gentlemen. I hope they do. Very, very popular, the Rocks team, of course. 8.8 .8 meters. Just wonder if that'll be enough. I hope so. How'd you go on, Dad? Well, not too good, really. <laughs> We've got a bit of a bashing. A um, few repairs, I would think. See what we do. Yeah, See what the rest do. What else is that thing? Quite a bit of damage, really, isn't there? <laughs> Do you think you're through to the next round? Yeah. I hope so. Good luck, champ. <laughs> Robot ears, stand by. Limpet next up with John Denny and John Freeman. Inside the unit, we have two 24 volt wheelchair motors driven by a wheelchair power motor and two batteries, two 12 volt batteries parallel to give us 24 volts. Three, two, one, activate. So Kilolot awaits at the end of the central nice. route in the gauntlet. Limpet, 28 centimetres high, 75 centimetres wide, 100 centimetres long, takes on the ramp and takes on Kilolot. No, this, oh, oh, takes on Kilolot, <laughs> crushed by Kilolot. He's Dude. on top, on board. A loaf of bread there on the back of Limpid, I saw. They stuck some sort of bagel or baguette on the back there, haven't they? Yes! Well, they want the prestige and they want the dough from Robot Wars! And one of the traps is simply slapped! Ooh. Oh, that's punishing and painful! The Limpid team, George Napoleon, John Denny and John Freeman. Um, I was just about that, you just gave a piggyback to kill a lot for a start. Well, yeah, we've got to give him a hand along, you know, it's sort of uh, not very fast, and that's uh, <laughs> we'd help him along. <laughs> you almost made the end zone, but... Uh, yeah, we were looking forward to some toast, actually, but we didn't get that far. <laughs> you took your tracks off as well, didn't you? Right, yeah, it's a bit of a repair job there, I think. Have you got any spare tracks? Uh, good weld will sort it, no problem. Will he? Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, deliver the team! It's blurry, but this guy on the right with the long hair reminds me of Billy Connolly a little bit. Uh, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm watching on not the best quality, so it's hard to see, but pretty cool. Cheers, guys. Stuck in there like a limpet. And sticking in there. 10.8 meters there. Uh -oh. Oh. Rocks look suspect. Look what Naughty Sakilla Lot did. Yeah, it's got plan B. You know, we sort of put some more links in or change the design a bit to uh, confuse everybody. You can do that. Well, if we get through, we can do that. If not, we'll go home. Robot ears, what? stand by. The last in the heat, kilohertz. Powered by two 1200 watt Bosch industrial motors. The main weapon is a large axe, powered, pneumatically powered by a large cylinder developing about 800 kilograms of force. 
which does this. I, 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 Three, two. That'll do some damage. Powerful and quick with John Reed, Dominic Parkinson, and Rebecca Reeston Brown, and a good surge, but it's taking on the center. Oh, well, well, Damn! Oh, the line by Dead Metal, but did they cross the line? Come on, judges, I'm sure they were through. Dead Metal, push them back, and Dead Metal hurt. They're in the pit. Look at the damage they've caused. I thought they crossed. But did they do enough there? Dude, that thing is insanely fast. That's the one that said could go up to 30 miles per hour, but went eight. Controversial. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> it went wrong. We just stopped for that heavy hydro robot at the end. Dead metal got older, but I think at one stage you didn't make it into the end zone, did you not? I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, I think so. It. It's a very fast robot, isn't it? Yeah, I was hoping to demonstrate its speed. It is quite fast, yeah. Okay, well, you've probably done enough to get into the next round, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a round of applause. Thank you. Good, Good job, see. guys. Very speedy robot. It's going nowhere in the pit, though, is it? Craig, the judges say they didn't complete, but 10.6 meters enough. Brox and young Carl, out. We might be back. Good this year. Come on, then. Good we'll try, go lad. And a drink. And a sulk. <laughs> so how's fixing going on Olympic? We're a bit short on time. You haven't fixed that chain yet, have you? No, I know. A... <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got one. Oh. We'll limp home. <laughs> <laughs> the weapons aren't actually not activated. actually activated yet. No, they're not working. They're not working Next yet. round. I'm trying to make them as fireproof as possible. You sure it's not just still with sticky back plastic? Oh no, this is uh, this is plywood behind there, covered in aluminium tape. So it'd be enough to keep the flames off for about two minutes. <laughs> One robot time. down. One more to go in the trials. You see, it's time for us to bowl you over with our next challenge. Just your average game of skittles. But on Robot Wars, the bowling balls are bionic, and the skittles are industrial-sized barrels. And the only spares are the body parts needed afterwards. Now, all our contestants have to do is knock down as many barrels as possible in the time allowed. The robot that knocks down the fewest barrels is kicked out of the contest. It's all about wanton destruction, and we love it. Let the trials begin. I think Roblox will do good. Built for this. Robot ears, stand by. Roadblock. First up. Three. Could do two, good. One. Activate. Here come the champions. It's pretty Tackle fast. Skittles head on. The house oh, yeah. can't go into that triangle exclusion zone. They want to go in there for safety. Like that, you see. They can. Nice. Do. And roadblocks shovel at the front, creating damage and mayhem. Oh, look at the barrels tumbling here. It's a great run by the defending champions. They nearly obliterated the whole of the Skittles triangle. Get out of there, killer lot. They did really good. Great run by the champions. Come on to the podium. Well, you've got to be happy with that, surely. Not too bad, but uh, not, as, not as well as we'd hoped. Uh, we just hope that's enough to get us into the arena. We're looking forward to some fights. The ladies and gentlemen, broke up. Well done. Well, let's see how many barrels were knocked down. 34 sets the benchmark. Is that Damn. enough? Robot ears, stand by. Three. And this push. Two, one. Activate. Here comes Onslaught. That wedge, suitable for Skittles, if they can get away from Sergeant Bash. Young David Wood, who loves design and technology, needs to get in there. Burrowing away with the barrels. Come on. He loves his basketball. He loves driving remote control cars. Nice. Good steering and good pace and good damage. Yeah, we've Tremendous Hell stuff yeah. here by the Onslaught team. Using its 76 kilos as well to push those barrels down. Bash comes in for revenge. And dead metal, but I think they may have done enough. Good job. Well, you sorted out your grip problems for the first round, didn't you? Oh, a little bit. It seems a lot better at the moment. It's still twitching away, mind you. I'll have to find out what's gone wrong there. That was an awesome performance. Yeah, good. Excellent. You're obviously through to the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause. The onslaught team. Wait, I might have got confused. Which one is the one that could potentially do 30? I think it's this one. I might have said a mistake here, guys. Um... I think this is the guy that said, um, the bald guy said that th their bot could go um, 30 miles per hour, or was it the last one? I might have got kind of confused here. I should say, tremendous performance by Onslaught. 57 barrels. Damn! Let's go! Robot ears, stand by. The boys from Ireland. Oh, we patched <laughs> up Nemesis. Three, two, <laughs> one. 
two games. Nemesis, what a pathetic and sorry sight. Pretty much. What well, great competitors. Nudging, nosing, Nemesis. The spikes, the prongs, good. the lobster claws. All coming into effect here, though. The saw blade at the back of the robot. Ash tries a little lick of flame, but too far away, says Nemesis. Peter Redmond, John Kinnan, nice. Joe Gavin and William Murphy, the teammates. Spinning. Not creating that much destruction by spinning, but look at the barrels down! In come the St. Box ambulance men. Nemesis! Stay on fire. How are you feeling about him? Oh, well, we gave it our best shot. We weren't really designed well for pushing over barrels, but... <laughs> Well, you seem to take a few of them out, though, didn't you? Well, we pushed a few of them out of the ring, but we didn't knock them over. And you're on fire again now? Still on fire. Still on fire. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Nemesis, give them a round of applause. They did really good. Broiled and toasted, ripped apart. 38 barrels is enough. Look at Roadblock now. Robot ears, stand by. How the hell did they do better than Roadblock, dude? Five, what? Three, two, one. Kilohertz, the Formula One of our robots. Oh, look at that power and pace! Straight through the skittles. They're tumbling already. I think they've already done enough here. Kilohertz. Jesus. Tremendous run. Turning, twisting. They haven't even brought the axe into play yet. I think they're going to get them all down. They should get them all down. What's up now, though? Wow. Why have they gone out of the triangle? That's suicide because Kilolock closing in here. And Sergeant Bash. And dead metal! What a furious decision to come out of the triangle! Did it die? A fantastic run! But what happened there? It's stuck in reverse. There's a problem with the speed controller. Well, you made the mistake of leaving the triangle and you got sort of penned in over there as well. No, it just got stuck in reverse. I could. It just went straight out backwards. I couldn't control it. But the speed of your robot! It's nice, it's isn't so it? Fast. <laughs> I'm just Impressive. really sad I didn't get the hammer working. Hopefully, we'll have it working for the arena. Yeah. We'll see you there, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a round of applause. Look at Kilohertz. You said they look dangerous job. throughout. They are through the initial search enough, but the champion's roadblock could go out here. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. Have they repaired those motorcycle chain tracks? Has it got enough speed and Slow. power? Well, it's slow progress, tunneling in here. The champions roadblock look on, very, very worried. John Denny and John Freeman. Steady progress. But only a few barrels tumbling slow. here, and they've got themselves wedged in underneath, crawling. The caterpillar approach to the Skittles from Limpet. Don't look good. Don't this look good. Gonna be close. I don't look good. It's kind of the game where you need a bit of speed so you can get as many battles as possible, well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so we got. <laughs> well, we don't know if you've done right enough to get into the next round, but give them a round of applause anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Good and attempt, though. Are the champions still in? Let's have a look. They are limpid only 23 barrels and roadblock survive. Well, news from the pits is that sadly it's home to Hinkley for the limpid team, but thank you very much for coming. You did brilliantly. And the most relieved men in the building are the <laughs> roadblock team, the champions of the last war, and only just through to the next round. Two robots have already been given compassionate leave, but the compassion stops here. Because the only way a robot leaves the arena is in a body bag. Usual rules apply, you've got to obliterate your opponent or immobilize him. If there's no clear winner, a decision will be made by our panel of judges. They'll be looking at style, control, aggression, and damage. In the words of the supreme being, Big Battle Boom. The first of the semi final nice. kilohertz against Roadblock. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, a teddy bear? One, Oh, kilohertz, that's gruesome and ghastly. It's no teddy bear's picnic, that's for sure. Roadblock in underneath kilohertz. That will be a tactic, pushing them towards the perimeter patrol zone. Where the house robots can now attack Kilohertz. That's good start. Yes. Using the sword to push Kilohertz into that zone. In comes Shunt. It's pickaxe to pickaxe. 
Mighty power in the kilohertz weapon. 800 kilos of force, but it was good style. Good driving by the roadblock champions. They veer away from danger. And kilohertz in the PBZ doesn't seem to be able to get away. They're worried. <laughs> I think they're immobilized. And in come the house robots. I don't think kilohertz can move here. That's a robot orgy. God damn. The dead metal camera. It seems to me they're immobilized. The teddy bear waits on top of the axe. It's almost inevitable. They can't get away. They're being pushed and pushed and pushed towards the pit. They're in. They're out. The champions are through. Hell yeah. Bye-bye, teddy bear. Robot, up the platform. Kill it. Come up the platform. Bell, what went wrong? I think I hit him too hard. I broke something. I had you down as one of the favorites, but you, you, you got bashed. <laughs> Well, I just broke it. It was my own fault. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have taken Roadblock on. You got the axe working at least. Roadblock. One more fight, and you're through to the series semi-finals. You're excited? Very excited, yes. Yeah. Keep our fingers crossed. Ladies and gentlemen, Roadblock, give them a round of applause. Great job. Yeah, fight the dots. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Can anyone beat the champions? Roadblock through the second semi-final. Nemesis against Onslaught. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Oh, baby! In front of Onslaught here. Oh! Be decisive if it can get in enough beyond those spikes and prongs and blades. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! They've gone for the kibber. <laughs> I love that. They're great, the boys from Ireland. They just love to be torched. Dead metal has pinned Onslaught into the PPZ. Shouldn't have gone in there, boys. You're in danger now. Dead Metal's got you in the pincers. Across here is the sergeant. Oh, good speed out. Take nice. the misses again with the opens. Marvelous stuff. Onslaught. You won't want to take on Shunt, though. Nemesis is just sitting there. Nice. Oh, towards the pin and finally in. Yes. The end for Nemesis. Nemesis. Onslaught. Come on, the Great platform. Job. Well, what went wrong? We just lost transmission. I don't know what it was. They just I mean, sat there. You had a new fair <laughs> job? No, we were all ready. What was that kebab doing on the front? <laughs> we were expecting a bit more from Bash, you know? A bit more flames. <laughs> never mind, lads. Never mind. Onslaught was good, wasn't it? I mean, you were, you were the more aggressive all the way through as well. That was uh, the general idea. We didn't think we could stop him, actually. But uh, it looks like we managed to burn something out. Well, you, you took a bit of a bit of a bashing from the pendulum as well. Doesn't seem to have done much damage. We'll find out when we get back the to the fix. The we didn't want to have a go against was the big one. Would circle a lot. Yeah. yeah well, it was the one we didn't want to bash with. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause. Onslaught. Great job, guys. Let us just fight the dust. And look at us. <laughs> and so to the final. Roadblock against Onslaught. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. Roadblock, the champs and top seeds for Robot Wars. Onslaught just waiting. In comes Roadblock. Trying to lift it up again with that great scoop made from the road sign. Bash is behind. Dead? Can David would do for Onslaught, which seems immobilized. It's not moving here. There could be a problem. I think there is a problem. Look at that. It's smoking, and they know it, and they're punishing. If you're weak, you'll be victimized. It's as simple as that. By the Deadly House robots. Onslaught on fire. And all the roadblock has to do now is avoid trouble. All up for their showboating now. They're taking on the house robots. They know they're victorious. Pronged by death metal. Pierced by death metal. But surely the winners again. Roadblock. Damn it. Roadblock. Come up the podium. Well, you won the last war. You're now through the series semi-finals. How do you feel? It's feeling good. It's looking good. Onslaught. They've already got going, though, did he? I don't think that was fair. It would have been nicer to have a good bash with him, but... The way it goes. Well, you wanted the right good rumble, but you didn't get one. That's right. That's right. We had to pit up the shunt instead. Are you going to make any modifications for the for the, for the series semi-finals? We've got a bit of work to do. Yeah. yeah it's like uh, dead metal snapped our strummer uh, shaft again, so we'll have to get that fixed. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause. They did well, man. I'll show you my robot. You show me yours. The biggest one wins on Robot Wars. Good night. I ain't got one, bro. Wish, man. Take out the mind of 
his own on the start, he jumped backwards, we managed to get to move forwards, and that was as far as it went. How do you think that was? Probably some of my wiring, I would think. <laughs> Uh, hold up, let's go back, guys. Uh, let's see. All right, so the gauntlet course. Seems so we got some great robots in this one, boys and girls. You know, like overall, this has to be um, the best one as far as like the good variety of the robots, but all of them pretty well. Um, I did feel bad for rocks. Let me see. Yeah, the little young kid. Um, this one crushed my heart that they didn't make it to the um, thing. But for seven years old, the uh, the kid with his father, heck of a job being on the stage. I think they performed well. I'm trying to look for the damn list. You know, it's so hard to know um, all the names of the robots. I'm trying to look for it, but I never know where the hell it's at. Damn it, man. I wish I can get the list of all the robots. Anyways, whatever. Um, the, the new introduction of the Sentinel phenomenal man dude the sentinel looked badass um that's the way you got it when you introduce something you gotta you know go big and and i think that that's a new cool element of the show um if anybody's familiar with x-men the sentinel uh big robot so um you know in the in the cartoon so that's really cool um Obviously, it's not, you know, anything in relation to it, but um, I always find weird little stuff that I find similar or kind of cool or it makes me relate to something. So, Sentinel, great new addition. Kill a lot, just slaying right there. Uh, uh, Death Metal went right into uh, and pounded really good into Roadblock, man. Went right in there really easy. So, let's see if they... Um, you know, tweak their, their model, but you know, Roblox, I didn't want to go for the same, you know, like, you know, like, uh, one that already won, but you know, it's not broke. They didn't tweak it too much. Uh, you know, very similar design. So, you know, they ended up winning. Nemesis is the one that was cool initially seeing in the opening seasons, um, you know, in the first season and, you know, when you first see him, he was, you know, he was like, oh, man, that thing looks really cool. But when you see how flammable it is and they didn't do nothing to change it, like, I just couldn't get past why the heck you would try to go in the worst possible scenario. Because um, I forget the the flamethrower uh, robot's name, but that's like your worst nightmare when it comes to Nemesis. This thing is like, you know, just think of like something so easily flammable. That's Nemesis. And you have them going in the worst route possible. But um, overall, all the robots in this one was awesome. I was rooting for Onslaught. Um, I think he could have potentially done better had the freaking thing not malfunctioned. And that's one of the things about this show. This show gets me sad in certain parts. You know, you do feel for the contestants. Um, and I think that's a cool thing. The Rocks one, that was the one that you felt bad for. Uh, Onslaught, I wanted to win. Um, fortunately, I can't pick him. Uh, I, I choose the worst ones, but uh, he at least made it to the final. But the semifinal match was the best one. Um, the first bout on the semifinal thing, that was that was the main event right there. Um, you know, when we, we think back on it right now, but still enjoyable. This is such a good, chill show. And, and sometimes you need that. You know what I'm saying? We watch a lot of comedy on the channel and it's nice to kind of vary it up. I, I know it's probably not going to be for everyone, this type of show, but I think it's very enjoyable and, um, it's great to see. We're going to keep doing it. Um, and I hope some of you guys will watch, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll get new people who enjoy Robot Wars and, and, and come to the channel because uh, that's what we hope for. We hope to uh, spread some eyes on it. I think it's a very cool show. Uh, we already know we love Miss Forrest. So she's great. Uh, the host is awesome. You know, all of it is, is a really good special show. So if their robots right now are already cool, I can only imagine a couple seasons down the road because... Um, technology hopefully gets better um so that's something that like i'm like freaking like i can't wait for because uh if we're getting glimpses of things breaking now with better technology um as years progress uh we should be hopefully seeing some really cool robots so uh one thing i would hope for i definitely want to see onslaught back 
Uh, we definitely look forward to seeing Roblox, um, you know, um, alters because he said he was going to tweak it a little better. Um, so that's going to be cool to see. And if Nemesis ever comes back, this is just my thoughts, guys, uh, of what I would like to see. Um, if it happens or anything like that, don't shed no light. We'll just we'll, we'll see it as it goes. Um, but if Nemesis pops up again, I hope he tweaks his damn design and stop being so damn flammable, boys. But uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. We'll get the next episode as soon as we can. Uh, just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, consider um, hitting that like or uh, commenting or both, guys. Those help out the channel. So we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Peace and love, dudes. Peace.